If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the latest updates. Hello everyone. Let's have a quick overview of the rules of the partial fraction decomposition as the rules depend on the uh, type of factors in the denominator of the given uh, of the given resultant or the single fraction from which we have to derive the partial fractions. So we will start from there are basically total four four rules of partial fraction decomposition. So first of all we have rule number one. Basically rules are used because we came across different types of the um, uh, of the fractions and, and having the fact different types of factors in the denominator due to which there are different methods that has been devised that are used to find the partial fractions. So, so first of all the, the uh, rule number one is when denominator of, of given fraction has linear factors as these all rules depend on the denominator then the partial fraction will be of the form Let's write it down as the example is like this 1 divided by x plus 1 x plus 2. As the denominator has linear factors then we can write the partial fractions in the form as a divided by x plus 1 plus b divided by x plus 2. So this will be the form in which we have to find the a and b. a and b are to be found by using the method of partial fraction decomposition that we have already discussed. Then we have the rule number two when denominator has repeated linear factors. How? Let's see. 1 divided by x plus 1 whole square into x plus 2 equals to here we have repeated linear factor. What does it mean? Here the, the factor that is x plus 1 is repeating two times as it is x plus 1 whole square or we can say that x plus 1 and x plus 1 there are two factors okay so that is that uh, so x plus 1 is repeating itself so in such a case you can write the partial fraction will be of the form a divided by x plus 1 plus b divided by x plus 1 whole square plus c divided by x plus 2. So here a, b and c are to be found in order to find the partial fractions. Okay. Then we have the rule number 3 as it is stated as when denominator has quadratic factors once. Now what, what does this mean? Let's write it down so that you can have the concept about it. If you have the form like, like 1 divided by x minus 3 and x square plus 9. Now keep this in mind that the quadratic factors will be the ones that are irreducible. So I'll write irreducible here. Okay. So 1 divided by x minus 3 over x square plus 9. Now here the quadrat quadratic factor is this x square plus 9. Now how you can write the partial fraction, fraction in such a case as a divided by x minus 3 as this is a linear factor but in case of quadratic factor we can write as bx plus c divided by x square plus 9. So this will be a form where a, b and c are to be found in order to find the partial fractions. Okay. Then we have the rule number 4 that, 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 that is the last rule when denominator has repeated quadratic factors or quadratic factors occur twice. So what you what will be the partial fraction of the form like? I'll write it as 1 divided by x square plus 1 x square plus 1 whole square. Then how you can write it? You can write it as ax plus b divided by x square plus 1 plus cx plus d divided by x square plus 1 whole square. So this will be a form where you have to find the a, b, c and d for finding the partial fractions. So that's all about the rules of the partial fraction decomposition that uh, you should you should know in order to solve for the partial fractions as uh, without these you, uh, you will not be able to understand that which method you have to apply in order to find the unknown 
and in our in our next lectures we will see how you can apply these rules on the examples by using the different examples and the method will be uh, explained in the next lecture thank you thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates thank you